Hello, welcome to Sephra's Pop Culture Channel. My name is Sephra and this is my pop, pop, pop culture channel. So today I'm going to just talk a little bit about the finale of American Horror Story 1984. Now first I just want to say what's happening in my own life, which is when the show was on Wednesday night, I didn't really get to see it properly and I still haven't so this is kind of a half-assed review then I'll have to make a better one later um, I had to I got called into work at one of my jobs is being a tarot reader at parties and I got called in to work a party and why would I say no <laughs> so by the time I got home um, it was 10 30 exactly and here in Toronto American Horror Story comes on it from 10 to 11 and then they rerun it from 11 to 12 and then in the middle of the night they'll show it one more time and sometimes they'll show it a few times during the week and then it doesn't come on demand uh, for a few days so I got home at 11 30 no 10 30 11 30 it's halfway through the second run so 11 30 on a Wednesday night so I turned on the TV I ran in ran from the streetcar ran in and uh, turned on the TV to see Finn Whitrock's beautiful face there on the screen and so I watched the last half hour and then uh, I had to wait an hour in the middle of the night so I think the next one came on at one so I I was exhausted from you know my day you know it is one in the morning and so I saw the first 20 minutes of uh, the rerun and then I fell asleep <laughs> and then I woke up like at five in the morning anyways so I've missed about 10 minutes in between of the thing and I haven't uh, read any reviews or anything yet because I do want to see what happened in that 10 minutes for myself and then what like watch the episode and how it's supposed to be watched so I wasn't sure if I missed anything but in watching the first 20 minutes that I'd originally missed I don't think I did I mean in the sense of what Finn Whitrock's character was about so yeah so we had so we're done now we're done with 1984 um, a lot of things I liked about it but it didn't engage me uh, I mean I did watch I loved you know, I always anticipated the next week's episode, but now that it's over, I will say that I'm not a slasher film fan. I, I'm not really. So to me, it was just more, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> it was more fun to just watch, um, like the 80s stuff and the hairdos and the styles, even though some things were slightly off the music, of course, and the style that the show was shot in and, and the word, the languaging and, and things like that, you know, seeing the environment at the time and dealing with all those serial killers, <laughs> so many serial killers. Um, so it, it was... You know, it's a good season. Like it hung together, it had a beginning, middle, and end. It had a resolution. We know what happened to everyone. <laughs> you know, Brooke goes on and uh, spoilers if you don't know. Uh, Brooke goes on and has a life. Because you know, and even though she's like what forty or fifty, <laughs> she should look like me by now. But of course, Emma Roberts is so young. So um, and then. Uh, and uh, Donna so there were two final girls I guess is how it went they had a uh, Donna was a final girl Brooke was a final girl I thought maybe there'd be another murder in there when they discovered each other but there wasn't I you know I kept waiting for the twist of the twist right um, Finn Whitrock comes to the camp because he plays the character of um, Mr. Jingles son that Mr. Jingles had been trying to protect and so uh, little Bobby come who is named af after the brother Bobby goes and looks for his dad um, and someone has been sending him money his whole life and uh, we discover that the, the person had been Brooke um, we never had the twist that some people had hoped for which was that this series like the 1984 
stuff would turn out to be one of Madison's movies, which was Emma Roberts' character in Coven, uh, where she plays a famous actress, and that character was reprised in a couple of seasons. I think it was Apocalypse or something where they do the reprises to other seasons. Um, that would have been cool and fun, but we didn't have that. This is very straightforward kind of story. Um, so yeah, so she just goes on and, and lives, as does Donna, as does Finn Whitrock, as, as, as the ghost. I, I don't know. Um, we, I did see the part where uh, Margaret uh, got all hacked up a la Black Knight style <laughs> and, and tossed into the wood chipper, and, uh, which is remini reminiscent, of course, for, from Reservoir Dogs, the movie, uh, years ago, that was like the big, was it Reservoir Dogs? I think, it, you know, the, the wood chipper scene, and, and that's been reprised in many horror movies since, and even on, uh, what was it? Oh, Modern Family last night I thought was pretty hilarious. They showed a rerun where they put Gloria's standee when she makes her chili sauce into the in a paper shredder, but it was like the wood chipper idea, so I that I chuckled in my head about the simpatico of, you know, American horror story and then Modern Family. <laughs> I love Modern Family. It's hilarious. Um so uh, the one thing I just wanted to quickly talk about or address that I noticed was just that I really liked how uh, they cast uh, John Lynch Carroll. Is that how you, John Carroll Lynch? <laughs> Anyways, he originally played Twisty the Crown, uh, Clown, Twisty the Clown in Freak Show, and Finn Whitrock had played Dandy Mott, uh, the spoiled rich boy who didn't know what he wanted to do with his life, and so he became a serial killer but he learned it from Twisty he had been Twisty's apprentice and even though Twisty didn't really like having Dandy around and didn't really live long enough to deal with Dandy uh, Dandy did follow him and learned from him how to be a serial killer and how to torture people and and he enjoyed that and you know and as we know Dandy went and killed everyone at the end of Freak Show and then he himself uh, was put in the water tank like one of those Houdini water tanks and then he died um, you know and he and Dandy's whole thing is he's a monster I'm a monster you know and this is a phrase that carries through uh, American Horror Story every season and, uh, and I talked about it in my last episode many characters will utter this line at some point during the show because it's one of the major overarching themes of American Horror Story for all the seasons and so even though Dandy Mott um, died and I, I really want that character revisited I loved that that's is still Dandy Mott is still my very favorite character of all the American Horror Story characters not just because when Finn Whitrock is really cute but because um, he was a human who and you saw his turn to evil you saw like being spoiled being rich you know all the money in the world can't fix evil right and how he went from could have had a good life but was misunderstood by his overprotective mother who tried to shoehorn him into other things and all he wanted to do is be an actor which is why he bought the circus and so on um and then he still you know was an evil asshole and died <laughs> yeah. but i really liked the way his character went, you know, fell in love with the with uh, Sarah Paulson's twins and all these various other things, right? So, so anyway, so now we see Finn Whitrock playing a normal dude, and it's just normal, and it has a happy ending, and so I feel like where's the twist? I, you know, Emma Roberts and uh, you know Brooke and Donna agreed, you know, they're they're just gonna live their lives. Finn Whitrock goes to the camp, doesn't get hurt, doesn't get murdered, doesn't get ghosted. He meets his dad, his grandma, and his, I guess his uncle, who's named after, uh, as ghosts. He meets them, gets to hug and kiss them, and, and they get on. Then he leaves the camp, and he doesn't get hurt. And I, I did see, uh, I, like I said, I'm trying not to read reviews and stuff, but I did see on Twitter... Um, Ryan Murphy said something about uh, how he wanted a happy ending and uh, 
So we got one. We got a, a American Horror Story happy ending that wasn't even a somewhat happy ending. Like like I've said before, Jessica Lange might go to heaven at the end of some of these, um, or heaven, or wherever she is, another plane, another existence, and it it's happy kind of. But with this, like, it's totally happy. Finn has resolution and closure and gets to and just walks away and <laughs> gets on with his life unless he gets picked up by a hitchhiker and dies. But um, as far as we know, he's fine. He's good. He, he, he came, saw his dad, saw his dad ghost, saw where his dad was, realized um, someone else had sent him the money all these years. And then that's it. <laughs> It's over. <laughs> so I did hear a little rumor that maybe next next year, uh, season 10, we might actually finally get the space alien stuff. I, I know I've been waiting for ever since. Was it Asylum when we got a little glimpse of space aliens? And then they teased us in Apocalypse where I thought for sure we were getting aliens coming in to take over for the Apocalypse and maybe everyone would go off on the spaceship and, away from Earth or whatever. But then that went the direction it went and and so now maybe maybe we'll finally get to see the little hint we've had um and i know some of the other seasons have had little hints too i mean you know um area 59 maybe they'll or 51 oh my god can i talk <laughs> area 51 i mean we did just go through this whole area 51 let's storm it they can't shoot us all thing right <laughs> you know <laughs> um so maybe ryan murphy will riff on that next year who knows i don't know what do you think's gonna happen next did you like uh this season did you like the season of 1984 which they never actually did anything about 1984 that i could figure out um did you like our summer camp serial ghost slasher movie theme <laughs> did you like the happy ending <laughs> and it wasn't a massage parlor happy ending yeah <laughs> yeah anyways i'm not gonna be nasty all right uh, so yeah let's talk let me know let me know what you think that put your comments in and uh, we'll talk to you soon bye